Yesterday, OpenAI stepped into the web browser Thunderdome with the release of Atlas, their new AI-powered browser built around ChatGPT. And although I had anniversary plans, I imagine this is just how John Muir felt when he said, the comments are calling and I must go. The idea for Atlas is pretty simple. Before Chromium and Vibe add ChatGPT into it as an assistant that can see, remember, and help with anything you need. Like imagine you wanted to eat food. To do that, you'd usually have to go to the DoorDash app and go through the work of ordering it yourself like a prehistoric hunter-gatherer. But now with Atlas, you can just tell it exactly what you want to eat and it'll do the work for you. Augustus Gloop himself couldn't have designed a better experience. Of course, Atlas is only available on Mac, but thankfully, my neighbor is an unemployed JavaScript developer, so I was able to borrow his to check it out. It is October 22nd, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. As a believer of the free and open web, there's nothing I'd enjoy more than to hear that OpenAI pushed Codex to its limits and built a new engine and browser from Scratch. Scratch. But like almost all new browsers lately, Atlas is just a fork of Chromium, Google's free and open source web browser. According to the keynote, OpenAI didn't want it to just feel like Chrome with ChatGPT bolted on. And after playing with it for a little bit, I can confidently say that's exactly how it feels. Sam Altman even told me they completely reinvented the way a browser is used. But I think the reality is that they mostly just copied Perplexity Comet. Despite that, there are still some cool parts to it. Because it can see everything you do, it's able to use your browsing history history as context when you ask it questions. Now, I know that sounds like a horrible violation of your privacy, but you are able to control what it remembers and delete certain memories if you need to. And as you saw earlier with the DoorDash order, agent mode lets ChatGPT take actions on your behalf. It does feel a bit like watching a disabled pirate try to use a mouse for the first time, but as I told my wife on our honeymoon, the experience improves with practice. But of course, agentic-powered browsers don't have the best track record when it comes to privacy or security. Earlier this year, AT team at Brave was able to successfully orchestrate a prompt injection in Perplexity's Comet AI browser by embedding malicious instructions inside of an image that would get triggered when a screenshot was taken of it and analyzed by the model. And that same team discovered that Fellow, which coins itself as the world's first agentic browser, was also vulnerable to a prompt injection simply by instructing the model to visit a website with the malicious instructions. Because your browser usually contains highly sensitive cookies and data, the team at Brave's ultimate takeaway was that indirect prompt injection is not an isolated issue, but a systemic challenge facing the entire category of AI-powered browsers. It was Benjamin Franklin who famously said, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. But old Benjamin Unbutton was always down for a good time, and I'm pretty sure even he'd be tempted to trade in his entire digital privacy and security for an easier way to order Taco Bell. Like the new flaming Hot Colon Prolapser Grilled Cheese Burrito, available for a limited time at participating U.S. Taco Bell locations. But if you want to avoid this temptation altogether, another browser that's being worked on is Ladybird. Unlike the others, it's fully independent and recreating both the engine and browser from scratch without using code from any other existing browser. It's an incredibly ambitious project, but they just recently passed the 90% threshold on web platform tests, which makes them eligible to be an alternative browser engine on iOS. But though Ladybird doesn't have any AI aspirations, every developer and company out there is trying to build the next big AI product. But the hard truth is that your LLM is basically worthless without a good search engine, which is why you need to check out Melee Search, the sponsor of today's video. It's a restful search API that understands user intent and returns relevant results in milliseconds. That means your app's AI features actually feel intelligent, instead of the typical vague AI slop. The search is hybrid, semantic, and multimodal, which allows it to pull rich context from any data type. And it has over 53,000 GitHub stars with developers appreciating how you can drop it into any tech stack, then instantly scale up to millions of searches. Try out Melee Search Cloud for free for two months using the code FIRESHIP at the link below. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.